to my channel. Today it is Monday, Labor Day. There is no work today, which is great. So from the last vlog, you guys have watched me picking up some items from Michaels to play with polymer clay. And because I was sick last week, I was just obsessing over watching YouTube videos of people making really cute items from polymer clay. And I've actually never played around with clay before. Um, I'm actually a very artsy person. I like to sketch and I like to draw and coloring and all that kind of stuff. Um, I did go to art school specifically for interior design and I graduated with that as well. So I do have an artsy background I would say but and also after I graduated I actually started my own greetings card business for I think I did it for almost two years just because alongside of my greeting cards i was also doing prints custom orders and also um gift boxes so that i did for two years but eventually i got way too busy and i just put it on the back burner while i was sick i was really like motivated to get back into what makes me happy and so yeah that's why you see at the end of my video from last week is that i went to michael's i purchased a like a spinning tray where I place all my markers, all my crayons and everything in that tray and all my tools. So there, it's actually right in front of me right now. And it also pulled out my green mat that I used when I was in interior design as well. So a lot of the tools I already had from like previous. With clay, obviously I have to go and pick up the polymer clay. And I was doing a lot of research, watching a bunch of people about what you need as a beginner. So I am missing a couple of things. So I think I'm just going to go to Michael's right now and pick up the remaining things that I might need. Yeah, so a lot of ideas flowing and I'm really excited. And I am going to bring you guys along. So anyways, I'm going to go to Michael's right now. Um, so keep on watching. got back from Michael's and the dollar shop and I picked up a few goodies so I went to the dollar shop and I just got these oven bake trays because I want to put my polymer clay into these trays and I can just reuse them and then I also went and got the rubbing alcohol 70% rubbing alcohol this is three dollars for this like super tiny bottle so here's my haul for Michael's so for the polymer clay I I'm just gonna stick with Sculpey because I think this is one of the bigger brands. The one that I got was a kit. It's called the Sculpey 3. And I've heard bad reviews with Sculpey 3 because it's too soft for people to use. So people like to use Sculpey Primo, which is like a tougher type of clay but um, it works a lot better when it comes to baking and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm gonna keep my Sculpey 3 because it comes with like a bunch of colors that I think I will need, but I also picked up a white Sculpey Primo and also a red one. Um, red, just because I feel like a lot of things are red and white, at least I can paint over it in case I wanna make some other things. So I got a big pack of the Sculpey Primo and the Sculpey Primo in red. I also picked up Gorilla Super Glue. I will definitely need this because I want to create magnets. And so I picked up a pack of these round magnets where I can just stick them on at the back of my clay and then I will just super glue it to the other side. So I picked up these two. Next, I also picked up the Liquid Polymer Clay in Clear. Last but not least, um, I don't think this is the best place to get it. I think I'm gonna order these online next time because these are really pricey. So I ended up getting these key ring lobster clasps for like the keychains that I wanna make. And it only comes in a pack of three and these were like pretty pricey. I don't, I think they were like $10 or something. I couldn't really find anything else except for a pack of three and they're so little. So I mean, I'm gonna try it and see how it goes first. And if anything, I can always order it in bulk. I also ended up getting these eye pins um, where I feel like this would be really good for like the tip of the head and then I can just connect the lobster clasps on it. Honestly, I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll see. And that's it. That's all the things I picked up for today. I am going to start sculpting and playing around with the clay now and just see what comes up. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm still in a testing phase and this is completely brand new to me it's a brand new hobby so a lot of things is just not gonna it's not gonna work out and that's okay anyways i'm gonna organize all this and then i'm gonna start sculpting and then get on with it so let's go Gourmet 
warehouse, walking to the front entrance, and we're gonna go and do a cooking class today. Are you excited? I don't know what to expect. We're gonna cook up Mediterranean food. <laughs> Happy Friday. I'm so excited for today. It's already 2.30. I got all my work done. I got ready for the day. I curled my hair today because I'm going to downtown later. I am going to try a new brunch menu for Paul's and they have a cafe restaurant in downtown on Robson. I've never been there before, but I remember when they first opened in downtown Vancouver, it was one of the spots that I really wanted to check out because their interior is so aesthetic, but I just never got the chance to actually make my way down there to try it out. Um, so today they invited me to go down and try out their new brunch menu for the season. And I'm gonna bring my friend Flo to come with me. And of course I'm gonna bring you guys along. It seems like it's a beautiful day in Vancouver today, so I'm really excited to head downtown and just spend some time there. Let's get the day started. Mm -hmm. 